All right, we're at section uh, 24.2, potential difference in a uniform electric field. Let me dismiss my uh, image there. And uh, we'll look here. When a positive charge moves, uh, first let's look at the configuration they have here. They have the electric field going downwards and they're doing that on purpose because we're gonna uh, liken this to the gravitational uh, equivalent. So here we have the electric field going down and we have a, a, a positive particle in this electric field. Well, of course, since it's positive, it's gonna move away from the source uh, of the electric field. It's gonna move downward. Uh, when a positive charge moves from point A to point B, the electric potential energy of the charge field system decreases. Uh, just as when you have uh, a mass that's descending uh, in a gravitational field, the potential, the gravitational potential energy decreases. Um, okay, so let's, uh, uh, VB minus VA is equal to delta V, which is equal to minus the integral of A to B of E dot DS, um, which is the, uh, you know, the dot product uh, is uh, E DS cosine theta. In this case, the theta is zero. So that's equal to the minus uh, a to b e d s cosine uh, zero degrees. So you just get uh, minus the, uh, the integral a to b of e d, uh, e d s. So delta v is since e is is a, a constant. Um, delta v is equal to e uh, minus e uh, integral of a to b of uh, uh, d s. Um, so delta v is equal to the minus ED. So the, uh, the change in potential, electric potential is the uh, electric field times the distance. Okay, and the change in electric uh, um, potential energy is equal to Q delta V is equal to minus Q ED. Okay, uh, and potential difference, difference in a gra uniform gravitational field. Uh, when, object, when an object with mass uh, moves from point A to point B, the gravitational potential energy of the object field system decreases. Now, the difference here is that if we have a negative, uh, you know, a negative particle in an electric field, it will go up. Uh, we don't have anything equivalent to that in a gravitational field. Okay, uh, equipotential surfaces. Um, point B is at a lower electric potential than point A. Uh, and points B and C are at the same electric potential. So uh, B and C are at the same electric potential. They have a different path. So that's an indication that this is a uh, conservative field. Uh, the electric field is conservative field. Um, delta V is equal to the negative of the integral A to B of E dot DS. We can pull the E out because it's constant minus E dot uh, with the integral of a to b ds is equal to minus e uh, minus e dot s um, the delta uh, the change of electric potential is equal to q delta v equals minus q e dot ds uh, and here we have some equal potential surfaces so all of these uh, you can see all this whole surface is at uh, uh, nine volts, this one's at eight volts, uh, this one's at seven volts, and this one's at six volts. And the idea is to rank them. Uh, it says rank from greatest to least the, the work done by the electric field on a positively charged particle that moves from A to B, from B to C, uh, from C to D, and from D to E. Well, from uh, A to B, um, there's, they're both on the same potential surface. So no work is done um, there. So that's z zero work is done. And from B to C, let's see, here's B and to C, there's C. So it's um, nine volts to seven volts. So the, the, the system does uh, two joules of work to, to, to get it from, uh, from nine volts to seven volts. Uh, and from C to D, uh, that's from C to D, that's um, uh, 
uh, one volt difference. So uh, one joule of work has been done. And to get from D to E, it is six to seven, uh, you have uh, an external agent has to push it up. So it's actually minus one joule of work. So in, in uh, ranking these, um, the, the first one is B to C that, that, that did two joules of work. And then C to D that did one joule of work. A to B is zero joules. And then D to E is negative uh, one joule. And there it is, B to C, C to D, A to B, and D to E. Uh, okay, and that's the end of section 24.2.